Hi everyone, this is Sharice and I am going to be showing you guys how to make a DIY Harry Potter flying keys mobile. Um, this is actually very, very easy. Um, the only thing that you need to supply is a little bit of glue and some scissors. Um, and my biggest piece of advice is to be sure to separate your fishing line out um, when you cut it so that it doesn't become tangled because when fishing line becomes tangled it's almost impossible to get the tangles out. So you'll have your um, your fishing line here. You'll have a golden hoop. And then you will also have three slips of shiny paper that have some wings on it. And finally, you will have a few various keys. Okay, so the first thing that I suggest doing is setting your string to the side very carefully so it doesn't become tangled. Okay, and then next you are going to cut out each of these wings. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, all that matters is that it looks kind of like wings and the details are there. You know, don't stress about this being absolutely perfect. So once you've cut your wings out, you are going to take your glue and you are going to dab it on either the back of your wings or onto a key. And then you are going to stick your wings on this part of the key. So not the decorative part. You want this, um, this longer piece right here. Okay, and you're gonna stick it with the middle part of the wings on there the best you can. And you can even, once, once they're glued, set them aside, let them dry. You can even get like clothesline or a large paper clip or um, those like clamp, those little paper clamps. And you can put that on there if you want. But mine dried pretty well when I did this um, by just setting them to the side on a piece, on a paper towel. Um, Cause you might have some glue drips. So it's a good idea to always use paper towel when glue is involved. Um, and once it's um, dried and glued on there, you can even kind of fold the wings if you want to make them look a little neater. Okay, so once you have your wings glued onto all of your keys, set all of that to the side carefully. You want to be very gentle with this craft. And you are going to first focus on the um, hanging part of um, the mobile, the part that's going to go on top and hang from your ceiling, from your wall, whatever. And so you don't really need a whole lot of this. Um, what I did was I just took about, oh, uh, probably six or seven inches of string and then I tied it on to the hoop right here. And then I did that four times around. So I had one on each part of my hoop. And then I took all the strings and I gathered them up top and I just did a um, like an overhand knot with all of them so that I didn't have to create multiple knots. And then I just went. I know this is really hard to see but you wrap to do an overhand knot, you just wrap it around your finger, pull up, and tuck the top through the loop. Or in this case, it'll be multiple strings um, through this loop. And it might be a bit difficult just because it's um, fishing line, 
which is already kind of difficult to work with. Okay, so there's my overhand knot and then you just pull it until it's nice and tight. Um, and you can do that a couple of times to make sure it's secure. And then you can hang it like with a paper clip or a push pin, you know, wherever you want to. And then after that, I just cut a whole bunch, well, I cut one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I cut six different lengths of string so that all my flying keys were staggered through the mobile. Um, I do not suggest when you finish this craft, just setting your mobile to the side like I did because it became very tangled and um, there was no there was no saving it. Um, it was a mess and all I did was sit it down. So when you are done with this, I highly suggest that you find a place to hang it and just leave it there. Do not hang it over a, an air vent because an air vent is going to push all of the flying keys and the fishing line around and it's going, it's going to become tangled like that as well. So try to find a place as soon as you're done to hang it um, where there's no there's no air vents, there's no um, windows that are going to be opened so wind can come through or a breeze. Um, because the last thing you want is to do all this work and then have it be really tangled. Okay, so I just, when I did the top, the hanging part, I just snipped different lengths um, for each key. If you want them to all be the same length, that's perfectly fine. It's your craft, this is just what I did. And then you are gonna take your string, your fishing line, and just put it through the loop on your key and then you are going to tie it well this fishing line will cooperate you fishing line is kind of difficult to work with it works really great in the end it's just actually working with it um, but for this craft I really wanted to use fishing line so that it looked like the keys were actually um, flying or floating rather than a different string um, where you could definitely tell um, that something was keeping the keys up. Okay, so once you tie that, you're gonna tie it, and these don't need to be super long. Um, again, that is just more cause for it to tangle. So once you get your key tied on one end of the string, you're then going to tie it onto the mobile. And just do a couple of knots to make sure it's secure because um, fishing, fishing line string is a little notorious for coming undone if you only tie it once um, with a general square knot. So you just do that all around um, until all of your flying keys are attached to your circle and that's it. You just go find a place to hang it. Um, if you want to make more of these, I got this shiny paper off of Amazon. Um, it's really, it's not like glittery. It's just, it just has a shine to it, which I really liked. Um, and it comes in a pack of like six or seven different colors. And um, you can get it off of Amazon. Um, just search for um, shiny crafting paper and it should come up. And then um, I also got the hoops on Amazon and I also got the keys on Amazon. Um, I got the keys in bulk. So I think there were like 500 keys or something like that. Um, and they're all random different keys. Um, so yeah, you can get all this stuff fairly cheaply if you wish to make more. Um, I hope you guys really enjoy this craft. 
Um, if you want to, be sure to take a picture when your craft is done and hung up and send it to us on Facebook. We always love to see how your crafts turn out. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. Bye.